So love is a word that we use, and it's something that we understand at some level, but it's a very difficult thing to define, and I think everyone would define it differently. All of us are trying to figure out why we like the people we like, why we avoid other people, how we find mates, how we have stable relationships, and why don't we have stable relationships. And the way that neuroscience is doing it is, is opening up the brain and trying to figure out what genes are involved, what neurotransmitters, what circuits are involved, and we'll all get close. We're all moving closer and closer to try to figure out why we fall in love, why those emotions are so intense. Well, probably the most important, most important neurotransmitter is oxytocin, which is released by the posterior pituitary. And that's involved in many different aspects of love. Um, including um, um, being involved with childbirth and the maternal feelings immediately afterwards, but also uh, much more general positive feelings like trust and empathy. You know, the field of neuroscience has now started to suggest that there are just subtle changes in the brain that alter who we would find to be the perfect mate. It sort of gives us an idea of sort of what sort of biological constraints there are on us as human beings and the kind of lives we might shape for ourselves. So. For example, there are sort of cultural ideas about romantic love and the kind of meaning one might find in another person. And whatever sort of interpretation of that one is going to adopt in, in one's life has to fit with the biological picture about how we work, right? If we're not sort of wired in a way that's going to be consistent with a certain idea of love, right, then there's no point in trying to work it out in your life, I think. Already there's uh, some research going on where Artificial intelligence researchers are looking at the neurobiology of emotion. If we're going to build uh, an artificial intelligence that has emotion, uh, our source of inspiration is to look at how humans experience emotion, and, and particularly the neurobiology, how a brain behaves when a human is experiencing those emotions. And that, um, so that's already feeding in that direction. The AI is learning from neurobiology about how to implement emotions. Hi, 